My chocolate hazelnut tart is nutty, chocolatey, and decadent. And we are gonna use half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of flour. Now the sugar obviously is gonna sweeten it, you need some sugar, and the flour is gonna thicken the filling. Now, I've got my eggs, and what I wanna do with the eggs is crack them ahead of time before I add them to the sugar and the flour. So it's kinda hard to sort of whisk eggs when they're in the sugar and flour. Next, vanilla extract. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. I love pure vanilla extract. Not the fake stuff, but the real vanilla flavor. It's so strong and so good. And you need about a quarter teaspoon of salt. It just brings out the flavors of the chocolate and the hazelnuts. And now, corn syrup. Now, you're thinking why corn syrup? Well, corn syrup is a sweetener. It gives the dessert a nice brown color, but it also adds that chewiness. So you need some light corn syrup. There we go, that's a cup of corn syrup. I'm just gonna mix everything together in here. Let's add two tablespoons of butter. Melted butter, cooled. That way, we don't sort of scramble our eggs. And the chocolate chips, my favorite part. Look at those, dark chocolate chips, they're so good. Now, I like the dark chocolate chips because we added corn syrup and sugar. It's a sweet mixture, so if I added milk chocolate, for me, it gets a little too sweet, believe it or not. And it slowly melts when you bake it, and every mouthful has nuts and chocolate and this sweet, chewy texture. It's so yummy. Okay, now, time for the hazelnuts. I've got one and a half cups of hazelnuts that I've already toasted. And now we are gonna chop them up. And you wanna leave them kinda chunky too, so I don't actually do it too much, just a little bit. And dump them right in there. Mm. Hazelnuts are so rich, I just love them. And see, already it's all thickened up. These are gonna be perfect with my tea this afternoon. I'm just gonna bring my pie dough right over here and pour the mixture right inside, just like that. Look at all those chocolate chips and all the nuts. I don't know how I'm gonna keep myself from eating all of this. And that's it, fill it up just like this. So I'm gonna bake it at 325 degrees for an hour. And then after that, you've gotta let it sit for at least 30 minutes so it can set. And after that, we get to cut it, plate it, and guess what, eat it.